Today we'll be floating down an area of the Columbia River that's incredibly important habitat for Chinook salmon, but it's also North America's most contaminated site. Um, this is an area that was used to make weapons-grade plutonium for decades, ever since the middle of World War II. This is the place where they made the plutonium for the Nagasaki bomb. Now, if we don't hold the federal government accountable for nuclear waste cleanup at Hanford, the results could be catastrophic. To understand why, you're going to need a bit of history. In 1943, the federal government selected a huge area along the Columbia River as a top secret site for the Manhattan Project to create plutonium for nuclear weapons. The government removed Native Americans who had lived along the Columbia River for centuries and evacuated the small communities of Hanford and nearby White Bluffs. Within a year, the U.S. built the world's first large-scale nuclear reactor and eventually built nine nuclear reactors on the banks of the river to create the most destructive bombs in human history. During the rush to build bombs, the U.S. also created dangerous nuclear waste, radioactive pollution associated with cancer, genetic mutation, and other grave health effects. At the time, storing that waste in underground steel tanks might have seemed good enough. Now, as the waste eats through steel and concrete, we're left with a massive ticking time bomb, staved off only by the ongoing cleanup efforts that began in 1989. We really didn't know what we were getting ourselves into back in 1989. Um, the other thing that we've discovered is there was a lot more waste out there than we ever anticipated. This is a place where Department of Energy actually stored spent nuclear fuel for years and years and to the point where it began to degrade and break down and turn into this toxic radioactive sludge is very close to the river. And it doesn't just stop here. What's beyond far out of sight, miles into the Hanford area, are these huge tanks full of very highly radioactive sludge and liquid waste. And these tanks are leaking. Time is not on our side when we're talking about these tanks um, aging and continuing to possibly leak into the soil. On this pollution mapping tool released by federal scientists, you can see real-time nuclear and chemical waste data. While contaminants from the nine reactors along the river pose the most immediate threat, the real sleeping giant rests at the center of Hanford. Here, 177 buried tanks, many as large as an Olympic swimming pool, hold some of the most dangerous pollution on Earth. Dozens of tanks already leak nuclear waste, and pollution is creeping towards the Columbia River and groundwater. We're simply running out of time. If the federal government doesn't clean up the waste, more radioactive pollution will reach the river. I've been concerned with Hanford cleanup since I can remember because of the Columbia River. It's the lifeblood. It's really a, a lifeline for the Pacific Northwest. Of course, the mighty river, which it's always been the lifeblood of the, the Yakima people. It also has the best main stem spawning habitat for Chinook salmon in the entire Columbia River system. The salmon is the most, one of the most important foods that we have. All the uh, ingredients they receive out of the ocean is distributed out here for the benefit of everything. I think about the future. I think about the fact that this is the commons. It belongs to all of us. And I think that the moral obligation is that we clean. It's really important for people to know that the decisions that we make now about how much contamination to leave behind are going to impact future generations and the future of the site. We're trying to convince them that if you would clean up the place to comply with the Treaty of 1855, we'd protect all future generations, not just the Yakima. So we're going by the, the White Bluffs, a part of Hanford that was carved out 14,000 years ago by the Missoula floods. To give you a sense for the problems at Hanford, the half-life of plutonium is 24,000 years. So what humans have created in terms of contamination on this site will threaten the Columbia River for longer than we can really imagine. The decisions about how much waste to clean up can have an impact 100 years down the line, 1,000 years down the line, and for some contaminants, 200,000 years down the line. I look at White Bluffs, I look at the, the landscape of this area, I feel like I'm cradled in the arms of time. But what really matters is that we think about the continuum and, uh, and what remains for the next generations. You can join Columbia Riverkeeper and people throughout the Pacific Northwest that are standing up and demanding the federal government clean up Hanford to protect people, to protect salmon, and to protect our river. Our challenge is to plant our heels in the edge of the Columbia River and to make sure this site gets cleaned up so that future generations don't deal with this toxic legacy.